Have you ever wondered what's to deal with macros? Today we're going to look at the Chronometer app. Wrinkled Runner here, and in this video I'm going to show you how I use the Chronometer app to track my food during the day. Stay tuned. So you may have heard about macros. These are the proteins, carbs, and fat. And that's what makes up the different calories that you consume. As runners, we want to fill our bodies with things that are going to help us perform better. And especially before a race, we may want to up our carbs a bit and lower our fats a little. And this app can help you track those different things so that you can see a percentage and even set goals for yourself for those times when you may want to have a little more carb or a little less fat. I will link down below to the Chronometer app and to the website that you can look at because it also has a laptop version or a desktop version and also to the blog post where I talk about it in a little more detail over at wrinkledrunner.com. So when you open the app, you'll see the date at the top and then three circles that show how many calories you've eaten so far on that day plus the percentage of the for the targets that you've set for the day. Also the calories burned and the calories eaten. You're gonna see a lot of bananas in here because I was having technical difficulties and so I've done this video a ton of times. Um, so if you tap on the top screen, the orange section, it's going to take you to a nutrition summary. And that will give you the calorie summary. So 863 calories I've eaten today, supposedly. And then all the calories that I've burned. And if you scroll down, you're going to see your uh, calories, which is the energy, your proteins, your lipids, which is fats, and then your carbohydrates. And then it breaks down all the different nutrients for you as well that are micronutrients like the fiber and the iron and those kinds of things. It also will tell you the water if you add those that to it or the alcohol consumption and all the different things that you've eaten in a day. So if you keep scrolling, you're going to see all the different stuff and how much of it you've eaten. And then you can also see, well, I maybe need a little more of this. I've hit my goal for this, so I shouldn't be eating any more fat or carb or something like that and then you can see that your protein target for example you need a lot more than that today so you should think about maybe having chicken for dinner or turkey or something like that so if you scroll back up and then you hit the settings wheel in the upper right hand corner then that is going to take you to a diet profile and you can see that I have a fixed target and my set weight goal is to lose weight and to lose one pound a week. So if you hit the fixed target, that's going to take you to your macronutrient target. And you can see the minimum for the carbs is kind of high at 200 grams. And I just put that in as, as an example. Um, there's math you can do and things to figure out if you're trying to carbo load for a race. So sometimes I will add in more carbs if I'm going to be running a marathon or a half marathon uh, you know, at the end of a week. I tend to need less carbs in order to feel good than what the math will say I need. So I 200 grams would probably be like well enough for me. So if you hit the diet profile, you can see the fixed target. And some people like paleo or the zone diet, high fat, you can even custom design what kind of diet you happen to be on and the things can figure out the different targets for you. So then if you go back to the main settings page, you can hit the set weight goal and I have it set to lose weight, but if you hit that, it can you can set another weight goal and I'm at where I am at not now. I have maintain weight for my regular chronometer setup. So then it 
breeds that you're maintaining your weight and that will adjust your calories. You're going to be able to eat more calories if you're maintaining weight than if you're trying to lose a pound or a half pound or two pounds uh, per week. So we're going back to the main screen here and we're going to be adding some food. So at the bottom you'll see a little plus sign and that will bring us to the database. We're going to add more bananas. We're going to choose the raw bananas and we're going to add one as our serving. So it shows you the calorie breakdown and the protein, the carbs, and the fat. So we're saying one serving and you can change whether it's a big one or a small one or whatever. And then you're gonna hit save in the upper right hand corner. The home screen will pop back up and you can see there's another banana on the screen adding 105 calories to your breakdown of the day. That upped our target to having eaten 54% of the calories for that day. A really cool feature with this is you can also scan labels of things that you eat. So if you eat uh, yogurt or anything ready-made and the label is in the database, you're going to be able to add it to your day. So you're, again, you're going to go into the plus sign, but this time you're going to go into the scan food with a little barcode on the upper right. So you'll hit that and a scanner will pop up and you're going to find the barcode on your food, line it up with the little window, and once it focuses in, it will scan that label for you. And if it's in the database, then what that particular food is will pop up. And again, you're going to add what you've eaten of that, whether a serving, uh, in this case it has ounces, grams, whatever's on the packaging. And then you can just enter in what you've eaten and once again hit save up in the upper right hand corner. Now if, if the food that you eat is not in the database, you are able to enter in the information and add it to your own database of the foods that you eat. And then you can even go back and uh, find it again and add it manually instead of being able to scan the label. But there's a whole bunch of foods in this database. It's usually just store foods that aren't in there. So this is a snapshot of a day and it's showing that we've loaded 1140 calories. It's showing that we've burned 1,964. Um, and that is including what it calculates as the amount of calories that you burn in a day just sitting around uh, just from your metabolism. We're going to say that we were running for 30 minutes. And then we're going to hit save. That will calculate calories burned based on your weight and the activity that you did. And then that will add it. You can see in the upper right, the calories burned has gone up because of the activity. And by the way, you get to that the same way you would add food. You would put the little plus sign in and uh, you're able to see a little circle that says activity and you're able to go in and add what you've done. So if you swipe left, this gives you a picture of the calories that you've had based on your target and the proteins, the lipids or fats, and the carbs. So you can see from the breakdown here, I can eat a lot more fat, some protein, and no carbs based on the targets. And then if you swipe left again, it also gives you it broken down in a different, in a different bar of the calories burned on the right and the calories you've eaten on the left. And this is based on your weight goal. Then if you scroll again, it gives you a picture of the other different things in there besides the carbs, the proteins, and the fat, which are your macronutrients. This is showing you your micronutrients and the different things, things that you've eaten during the day. So, you know, if you're slightly anemic and you need more iron, you can see that as well in your day, daily summary.
So there are many more things you can play with with this app. Um, there's even a recipe generator. So if you have your own re recipes, you do your own recipes, or uh, you have a blog for that, or you just want to know for your own family, you can enter all that information and it will actually generate a nutrition label for you. And so you can then add that into your food diary for things that uh, you make on your own. So that's a really cool feature that I like to play around with a little bit as well. So if I'm feeling sluggish after a run or you know a bunch of my runs are going badly, I can actually look back into the app at all the different things I'm eating and all the different breakdowns and the percentages of the proteins and the carbs and the fats and sugars and alcohol and all that kind of stuff. And I can see if a pattern is developing that I'm having a string of bad runs and you know, I'm eating a bunch of sugar. And does, is that uh, affecting my runs or is a bunch of fat or too many carbs or something like that. So that's a good picture that you can get too if you consistently do this, which I'm not really good at, I'll be honest, but um, it does give you a good picture if you can consistently track what you're eating. And as you could see in the app itself, it's a great tool if you're trying to maintain your weight or if you're trying to lose some weight. It will show you how many more calories you should be able to eat in that day depending on the activity you upload and how many calories that you're burning. Now, uh, things can be not as accurate as it should be, so you just got to be careful a little bit about that. Um, you know, if you're listening to the app and you're suddenly gaining two pounds a week, you're probably not burning as many calories as it's saying that you're burning. And a lot of that is dependent on the weights that you put in to the app as well in the profile section, so make sure that keeps updated too. So I really hope that you try this app out. Um, like I said before, I use the free version and it's great, but you can also upgrade and I think it's $2.99 at this point for the paid version. So if you hit subscribe down below, you won't miss another video. And I'm linked up to the blog down below. So if you head over there, you can sign up to get my emails. And once a month I send out a newsletter on a Saturday morning and it has links to all the YouTube videos and also the posts on my blog from the previous month. If you have questions about this app or my running journey or any running questions that maybe I can answer or if I can't, I will try to find out the answer for you. You can either comment down below or you can email me at sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y at wrinkledrunner.com. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the run.